Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with my first thoughts on Hades. Uh, this is a recent title you've probably heard about. Uh, it's from Supergiant Games, they're the people who made Bastion and Transistor. They made another game called Pyre, but I haven't played that one. It's not on the Switch, it's only on the PS4 and on Steam, I believe. Uh, but this one is on the Switch, and I'm gonna check it out. Um, I haven't played this yet, I've seen it being played, so I have a pretty decent idea what it's about, but I haven't actually played it. Uh, it's sort of like Bastion meets Dead Cells, so they've got a similar sort of isometric uh, action combat kind of feel like Bastion, but it's a roguelite game, like Dead Cells. And it looks really good. <laughs> so let's uh, dive in and have a look at it. Uh, we got a little, little loading uh, branch at the bottom there. Cool. <laughs> Um, I hadn't seen this part. The game had already been loaded every time I looked at it. I didn't know it had this loading screen. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's an epic deal. It's got some pretty colors. I wonder if this happens every time or if it's like an initial setup kind of thing. I guess I'll see. Hades. Oh, Supergiant Games. Cross saves are not yet available yet in the forthcoming up to appreciate your patience. So cross saves would be, you can play the game on, I think it's on Steam as well. You could play it on Steam and then copy your save data and play it on here as well. Once they add it, they haven't done it yet apparently. Uh, let's see what options we get. You can mess with the volume, you can up the brightness, subtitles. Uh, vibration, screen shake, damage numbers, timer display. God mode instantly makes you tougher, more so whenever you die. Death is not so big a deal in the underworld. Try this if you find you're struggling, won't focus on the story or any reason. Okay, so there's a built-in, effectively a difficulty selector. You can turn it to an easier mode if you want to play, like, focus on the story or you're not so good at action games, basically, which I think is very cool. Uh, I like they're encouraging that you can use this for any reason rather than saying, you know, this is the easy mode. Uh, it's nice. Uh, what do we got? You can remap all the buttons if you want. I'm gonna leave this on the defaults, but you can see there's a bun bunch of different buttons here. Uh, languages, we got English, uh, French, Italian, German, Spanish. I don't know what some of these are, but you can see there's a bunch of languages there, so that's cool. Uh, let's just dive in and give it a play. Oh, hell mode, what's hell mode? For all those unafraid of death and other difficult matters, the Pact of Punishment will make your life harder right away. Set so this if you're a veteran of the cycle of death and rebirth, seeking a purer, more challenging experience. Okay, so this game has an easy mode and a hard mode, as well as the default setting by the looks of things. Uh, which is pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm gonna leave it just on default, and we'll see how we go. <laughs> I assume there'll be like a story intro sort of thing next. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Listening. Goodbye, father. Okay, uh, I can move around with the left stick. Or with the D-pad, it both work. I think uh, analog's probably better for this kind of game. You don't really have analog movement, but you're going at diagonals a lot, so using a D-pad would be kind of weird. Um, the B button lets me dash. Y button is looks like my default attack. A button, I can shoot out uh, this little gem thing. I guess it's the sort of ranged attack. X button, some sort of special attack. Okie dokie, uh, let's head on in. R button to proceed. I think R is like an action button. Interacts with stuff, buys things in shops, that kind of thing. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. Woohoo! Ow! 
This may take some practice to get good at. I really shouldn't be taking damage this early, I'm guessing. you from that miserable place I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part beginning here with me oh it's Athena okay uh, okay so I get to pick one of these upgrades dash deals damage and can deflect your cast oh cast is the A button okay regular attack is the Y button let's make my dash deal damage let's see how that goes I know you can't hear me all the way where you are goddess but thank you uh, yeah, this game is fully voiced, by the way, you've probably noticed. So, I'm not going to be reading the character's dialogue too much. Because they seem to be voiced quite well anyway. I'm taking a lot more damage than I ought to be. <laughs> I'm going to take some practice to get good at this. a big key of some kind. Uh, I believe the idea here is you pick the door that has the reward you want. Like this one's got I think like a pomegranate or something and this one's got something else. I, I don't know what the symbols mean yet but uh, I guess I'll try this one. <laughs> hmm. You don't want to stand on those little traps on the floor. What do we have here? Gain 25. Oh, it's like a heart of, of extra health? Yeah, it boosted my maximum health. Okay. So that's what that does. That's good. Um, I can proceed that way. Are there other ways? Or just the one door this time? Just the one by the looks of things. Alright. Really sure what was up with that. That enemy looked more powerful than everyone else for some reason. Hmm. Well. Whew. World's power. What's this thing? Den gain ten purples. Something for the mirror. Okay. I don't know what purples do yet, but I got some. Hurt. Can't heal myself, but I can fight. Oh, yeah, apparently healing is hard to come by in this game. 
more so than in Dead Cells, which give you like a healing flask you can use at any time. Although you have a limited supply of healing flask, of course, it, it doesn't stay full forever. But yeah, this game doesn't work like that. Kind of reminds me more of Slay the Spire, where you need to get special random events that let you heal, like uh, getting an artifact or something that heals you, or finding a rest stop that lets you heal. I think it's like that. Oh, money. I'm not sure what I'm going to spend it on yet, but I got some money. Uh, let's see, next room has keys. I don't know what they do either. <laughs> I'm probably going to die soon. I'm not very good at this yet. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. I had a feeling that might happen. I don't wish there a way to heal just by doing damage. I don't think there is. Unlike in Dead Cells where you can get the necromancy thing that heals you as you fight. Very slowly, but it's still better than nothing. Chthonic key. Chthonic key, okay. I'll keep that in mind. I know what it's called now. <laughs> I'm trying to use my dash a lot because that's the thing I upgraded. Hopefully it'll serve me well. Oh gosh. Okay, it looks like these guys basically have two health bars. Like, once you break through their first health bar, they have a second one. <gasps> yes. Hey, Athena, what's up? Uh, let's see. My special is stronger and can deflect. When you deflect attacks, it does more damage. Hmm. I think I want Divine Flourish. That sounds good. I'm still really low in health, though. I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Uh, let's see. I can get more purple things, or I can get a bag of skulls. I don't know what this does yet, so let's find out. <laughs> Oh, it's a shop. Okay, um, let's see. I can buy a key, I can... You gonna tell me what these things do? Hey, Charon, Charon? Charon? Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. <laughs> um, let's try buying this thing. Pom of power. This is the binding power in each. There was a binding power in each sweet and acrid morsel of this blood red fruit. Oh, I see. So it upgrades your existing powers and makes them stronger. Uh, let's boost my dash. They must have lots of these upon Olympus. Um, I feel like I'm going to die soon, so I might just grab another key. I don't know if the keys stick around when you die. I think they might, though. Minus for boon info. Oh, I see. Uh, strong one can deflect. Deals damage, deals damage, and can deflect. Yeah, cool. So there's only four slots over there, so... Maybe maybe all those other slots that show up when I press minus get used as well. We'll see, I suppose. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman, Charon, lies... Oh, Charon. Okay. ...available for sale to whomever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me. <laughs> I enjoy how talkative your main character is in this game. Like, in Transistor, your main character was actually mute, so she couldn't talk. Um, but in Bastion, you could talk and just sort of didn't. So, I don't know. Oh, is this a boss fight? 
I'm hoping not, because I'm not really prepared. <laughs> Oh god, I am gonna die. Oh, why not? I, I survived. Just. Oh, it's Aris. Aris? This guy. We're attacking Flute's Doom? Oh, I see. It's like delayed damage. A blade rift circling ahead, slashing metal vortex rapidly deal damage in an area. That sounds good. Uh, let's go with Curse of Agony. Okay, I feel like I'm probably going to die really soon. I've got one health. Uh, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh, first death. Sad though, pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. Okay, so I believe this is just where you respawn every time. Um, back in the house. I can't use my attacks right now. See, no fighting in the house. <laughs> Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, Father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. <laughs> so I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go. See for yourself. <laughs> Puppy. The watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions. From purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. Yes, there's a button to pet Cerberus. There's a good boy. I'm sorry he disturbed you, Cerberus. Game of the year. <laughs> good puppy. You've returned. appointed layer of the underworld's king is home not just to him but to his willful progeny you know i can hear you old man <laughs> yeah um zagreus can hear what the narrator's saying which is pretty funny <laughs> good to see you lad despite the circumstances remember your training out there the pain of death is but another obstacle and fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. <laughs> I believe we unlock more rooms here as we progress through the game, do more runs and stuff, but so far it looks like there's not much we can do. We can dash, we can't use any of our other abilities because there's no fighting in the house. Hello. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. We made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. I believe it, Nex. 
I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Then go. Okay, I can't go that way. Can I go this way? Hey, room. I'm back. Okay, so this is my room. Uh, it's bed over there. Um, I think I need to talk to the mirror. Yes. Night and darkness guide me. Okay, so yeah, um, those purple things I was getting earlier, you spend them here, and they give you extra abilities, um, like permanent upgrades that like apply across multiple runs, basically. Uh, death defiance restore health when your life is depleted one time per rank. Perform additional dashes. I can't afford that yet, but I can get one of these. Let's go with this one. Restore a small amount of your health when you exit a chamber, plus one per rank. I mean, one health is not much, but it's better than nothing. Uh, I can unlock talents in the mirror. <laughs> Reveal two new talents hidden inside the mirror of night, or hidden inside you. If I get five keys, I've only got three, so I'll keep that in mind. Uh, what else have we got? Over here, there's something. Chambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh come on, it's not that bad, is it? It's, it's not that bad, honestly. Like this whole area of the floor is completely clear. <laughs> this stuff is just piled in a corner neatly. Hmm. What does resting do? Here. Oh, it's not bedtime. Why, why does everyone have a bed then? The screen room is something else. Okay. You use keys to unlock a weapon. Oh, I see. So I have the sword. I can get whatever that is. It's like a bow. And that one's a shield. I can escape through uh, the pink window there. Hmm. What's over here? Just a view? I can do yeah. this. Just a view. Cool. Let's get, I'll figure something out. Um, let's try the bow. There we go. Coronacht, the New heart weapon unlocked. Coronacht, the heart seeker. Over here. What the? Ha. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. <laughs> All right. I remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. <laughs> if you insist. Is he gonna like reform or is he, is he dead now? <laughs> Bet I got you pretty good. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we go this way. Yeah, Ready. escape. Loading. Okay, now we're here again. Is that... Oh. Is this really him? Okay. Like Zeus or? been rather difficult and he's not so much as called in quite some time he'll have a better home where you belong here on olympus and to help you on your journey have my blessing thanks zeus hmm. lord uncle zeus lending his support never thought i'd see the day or night whenever <laughs>
composed of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers. The underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Oh no. Good thing I'm not dead. Okay, so these guys are called numbskulls, I guess. Do I have a limit on how many times I can use this ability? I can't see a meter anywhere. It seems very powerful. Okay, so I get 10 more um, upgrade currency. Maybe I can use that later. Uh, Let's go see what this one does. I don't think that's coins, I think it's something else, but I'm not sure what. You have to hold the button and release to fire an arrow, you can't just mash it, which is interesting. I was just coin. Okay, still good. I never got used to what the symbols mean. Uh, do I want a key or do I want more purple? Let's go for another key. I'm gonna unlock more um, options in the mirror. Oh cool, I accidentally set off that uh, dangerous thing and messed up the enemies instead of me. That's what I like to see. Looks like I automatically snap to aiming at the enemies, which is very helpful. Ah! Did not expect that. Give me that key! Okay, I now have three keys again. Maybe I can get to five and then I can unlock some more upgrades, that would be nice. Let's get another pomegranate. Okay, so yeah, they have armor, which basically means they have two health bars. Possibly of different lengths. It looks like once the arm is broken, they don't have much left. Upgrade my Thunder Flourish from 38 to 50. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. They got me. Is there another exit here or just the one? Oh, what's this? Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. I can buy Life Essence. I can buy Gemstones for House Contractor Renovations or for Trade. Hmm, I wonder if I want that. Maybe I just want to heal. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get that as well. I don't know what gemstones do yet, but it sounds like I might want them.
Yeah, some more upgrade juice. Love that. Uh, let me see. Is this the one exit from this room? It looks like it. Yeah, okay. Seems like using that volley a lot works really well. Oh, money! Maybe I can spend that somewhere else. Uh, just the one exit again? Looks like it. Ka ching <laughs> I haven't got a good sense of like how long this is yet. I guess it'll become clearer as I progress. Dead Cells didn't really give you much of an indication either, so... Kind of what I expect. Once I get to the end of a run, I'll know how long a run is. I'm guessing I'm not very far into it yet, because typically it takes a couple of attempts to get far. If not lots of attempts to get far. But yeah, this volley move is very good. Especially with the, um... Boon from, from Zeus upgrading it to do way more damage, basically. Yeah. Oh, oh, I get a thing from Athena. Gimme. I never took you for an archer, though the power of that bow is undeniable. Use it wisely. Thanks, Athena. Phalanx shot, your dash, sure footing. I think I want divine dash again. I think that worked really well last time. Uh then I gotta go to the room with the key. I think it's the only exit. Boop. <laughs> this game's visual style is really impressive, honestly. I mean, look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is oozing style. It's almost disgusting. <laughs> Just oozing everywhere. Okay, so if I dash into these bolts, they actually bounce back and hit the enemy instead, because it's deflecting. Interesting. Seems to be doing a decent amount of damage when I do that, so I should keep doing it. Give me that key. I can unlock a weapon. Uh, I don't know if I want to though. Might want to save the keys to unlock the other upgrades. Okay, there was something blue in this room, like a little trident or something. I don't know if that means Poseidon or something else. We'll see. Gotta be careful with this dash, it's not really clear when it becomes active again. After I use it, because you can't just spam it, there's a little bit of delay. Crashing waves, the trident, it's uncle number two. It's got to be. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Boy there, little Hades. It is Poseidon. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We've a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. <laughs> Hoy there, small fry. <laughs> Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. Uh, it makes darkness, money, and gemstones worth more. Sunken treasure, random assortment of healing. Uh, Sharon's op sorry, Karen's ogol. Darkness and gemstones. Uh, I think Tempest Strike is the right choice. The power of the sea should be of help. Uh, then let's go for gemstones here. It looks like there's 
it's going to be harder, like it's showing a little skull icon compared to this one that doesn't. I think I can manage though, let's see how we go. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on here. Heck yeah. Give me them gemstones. <laughs> uh, Artemis? Is it Artemis? I hope it's Artemis. That would be super cool. Alright, my bow knock has knockback now. Nice. Oh jeez, I'm taking damage. Let's just play this a bit safe. Keep our distance as much as we can. <sighs> a divine arrow. There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several really. Anyway, <laughs> in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Yes. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. God, she's so cute. A boon for a boon. Oh, it replaces Tempest Strike. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, do I want to do that? Hmm, I don't think so. Maybe pressure points? Boots the critical chance. Hmm. Boost the damage of my cast, that might be good. I've been really been using my cast though, because it's on the opposite side of the controller to all the other buttons, because the way face buttons work. Um Let's try pressure points. The power of the hunt sounds like good company to keep. Fingers crossed I'm okay. Um, just the one exit again? It looks like it. I took a bit of a beating there. Hopefully I'll be okay in the next room. Never been this far. Oh! Oh, it's a shop. Uh, let me see. I can buy some food. That's healing. Uh... Let's get everything. Uh, let's upgrade, hmm, Divine Dash to level 2, that sounds good. And let's get something else from Poseidon. Well, nephew, I know that salty Charon can be difficult, but I'm certain that whatever price you paid, you got a deal. <laughs> uh, Bloodshot, Razor Shells, your boons with knockaway effects also rupture foes. Takes damage while moving, oh that's useful. Uh, I do have boons with knockaway effects already, so getting that might be a good combo. Waves, right, Uncle? Oh, I see, they stack up into two columns like this. Alright. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying oh my goodness. far beyond the underworld prince's reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. So, is this the boss battle I'm coming into now? Is that what that means? A little scared. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Hot Sagrius. Oh, it's Megara. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back, like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? Oh, that's pretty hot. <laughs> I have to go with the painful way. 
a man after my own heart. So, is Megara a one-winged devil in most versions of, of Greek myth, or is this something they've done for this game? I don't really know. Okay, I'm not equipped for this fight. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Oh my goodness. I need a lot of upgrades. <laughs> oh, wow. And yeah, I'm back in the house of Hades and I still have the other stuff I collected on the way. Yeah, I hope so too. That's what I said. Oh, renovation. Grand opening deal. The house contractor is offering this particular renovation free of charge, an otherwise inaccessible location to be found in the ever shifting underworld. Oh, okay, so it adds it to the random random chance once you've done these renovations. Okay, so that will heal you a little bit. That sounds good. I'll have that. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. What's that uh, then there's more options. Special item, make the fate's prophecies come to pass and be rewarded. I think that's like a, a su su side quest list sort of thing. Uh, oh, there's different sections. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of like, I think these are just this presentational stuff. They don't actually affect the game, they're just cosmetic. I guess then you need something to spend gems on once you've done the things that actually matter. Ooh, she was making contain urns with five money in them. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, plunder an infernal trove. Treasure chests worth more the faster you slay the foes guarding them. Interesting. Uh, I think I probably want to check out the fated list of minor prophecies. The fated list of minor prophecies. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. You requisition that useless bit of parchment. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, we're gonna upgrade the fountains once I get some more. Okay, I see. Interesting. Do, 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 do. If I don't patch your other heads, don't bite my arm off. Deal. Good puppy. Good puppy. Good puppy. Oh. was a small lounging area within the house of Hades now was sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart warning the missing prince Cerberus destroyed the lounge again I think you can rebuild the lounge like that's one of the renovations you can do but I'm out of gems so I can't do it now I happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers Achilles I'm sure I wouldn't have. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them know. No time to rest. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. I won't forget you, Nyx, I swear it. How goes it, Shanes? <laughs> Guess they won the bet. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, there's the list. Okay, it shows up over there. Well, let's have a look at it. The fate of betting prince perhaps believes it was through his own choice that he procured the fated list of minor prophecies. But it was preordained. 
Oh no, not this determinism thing again. <laughs> Faded list of minor prophecies. Okay, so we get a thousand uh, darkness gems for escaping, completing a run, basically. Distant relatives? Uh, once I've met all the rulers, I get some orange things. I don't know what that is. Uh, the rules of the underworld? Oh, I see. I meet all of these people, and I get ten keys. I get all, I unlock all the different runes of Athena, I get all that. Uh, I unlock all the weapons, I get that. So it's sort of like an achievement slash sub side quest system. I'm growing stronger. Uh, let's see. I can't use the mirror to open that yet because I haven't got enough keys. I get some more vitality, or I could get some shadow presence. Uh, let's focus on vitality first, I reckon. It does get more expensive though, as you can see. Oh, you can dash through the bed. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting design decision. Skelly. What's the good word? Don't suppose I can talk you into fighting back this time? Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it, not to dish it out. Now give it to me. Okay. Okay, uh, I have four keys. I can actually get this one. Like a big spear, or I could get the shield. Or I could get neither and just hot save my keys. Hmm. Stygius, blade of the underworld. I need your strength. Running with that thing, eh? Why does it say plus twenty percent? Is it like this one is like the currently special weapon or something? I don't know. Keepsakes. Uh, I don't have anything in this section yet. Let's check out the spear. Varatha, the eternal spear. Prophecy foretold. Press Y to strike. Hold and then release Y to spin attack. Press X to skewer and recall. Oh, I see. I throw the spear and then it comes back to me. Nice. I like it. It seems to want me to use the sword though, because it says that'll have a bonus of some kind. 20% darkness. Mm, let's go. Um, hang on. Dark thirst. Whenever you find darkness, gain an extra 20%. So yeah, it's like this particular weapon currently has a bonus on it for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, let's do one more run, I reckon, and then I'm going to call out a video. And I'll give you some, some general thoughts. I haven't seen too much of the game yet, but I am really enjoying it. Uh, which is... A Daedalus Hammer. What does that do? Oh, it lets you upgrade your weapon. Okay, um... Curse Slash. Your attack restores two health per hip. You have minus 60% total health. Oh my, that sounds bad. Your special makes you lunge ahead, then become sturdy. You take less damage? Hmm, your attack deals bonus damage equal to 5% of your current money. Hmm. Let's try Hoarding Slash, that sounds kind of interesting. I don't have any money yet, so it'll take a little while to start having an effect. Each time the prince delves back into the underworld, its ever-shifting chambers realign to frustrate his attempts to maybe map it out. Yeah, I oh know it's randomized. To ensure no one gets out, we'll see about that. We'll sort someplace else. It's interesting that this game has so many different like. Uh, currencies that stick around. Like, you've got darkness, you've got the keys, you've got the gemstones. Uh, like, Dead Cells doesn't really have that many. You've got the cells for constant upgrades, and you've got, like, a basic money, but that's about it. 
And neither of those stay when you die either. You actually lose everything. So it's an interesting difference. I got another key. Uh, I guess I gotta go that way. I can't see any other doors. That thing's a centaur heart. That's better. Okay, and increases your max life. Does it go in here? No, it doesn't. I thought it might, but it does not. Uh, I'm gonna get some darkness next. Yeah, I guess so. It's not giving me as many choices as I was expecting. <sighs> Maybe you unlock more choices as you renovate or something? Since you can make new chambers appear in the randomness. Like, different fountains and stuff. Oh, there we go. There's some choices. That darkness. <laughs> okay, do we want... Uh, that's money, which would be good because uh, that makes our attack better. Or I can get something purple. I'm guessing that's a boon for another god or goddess, so let's have a look. Things are called Skullamats? Gotcha. Or is that thing a Skullamat? That sound. That was revelry? People having a good time? Well sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hey there, Zagman. Oh, it's Dionysus. Got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. I like his design. <laughs> Your attack inflicts hangover. Drunken strike. Uh, the dash causes hangover. Hmm. Special inflicts hangover. Let's go drunken strike. Leave it to the god of wine to lighten things up around here. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, this is a shop over here as well. Uh, I can heal. Fateful Twist, Ignited Ica. Uh, I don't think I want any of those. I want to keep my attack up, which I'm getting for having lots of money as well, so. Brimstones. Yeah, it's giving enemies hangover, nice. That 12 darkness. Okay, I can get another Dionysus thing or I can get something from Poseidon. Hmm. Let's try Poseidon. You and me. It looks like this room, I've visited something like this on all my runs so far. So like maybe the basic structure is determined and it figures out the rooms in the middle. It's so a similar sort of thing to what Dead Cells does, like the basic areas you can visit are pre-coded uh, but the exact layout of the rooms and stuff is randomized. Something like that, I'm not really explaining it well. There we go. Anyone else? Oh, have I got something for you to 
this time, little Hades. Something special I've saved for when you really proved yourself. I hope it's good. What do you got? Tidal dash or dash damage is frozen in an area and knocks them away. Hydraulic might. Uh, general rewards are, are worth more. Hmm. Let's try tidal dash. Make my dash. Oh, it's all splashy. Oh, that's cool. I like the visual effect it has. It's it's neat. Uh, let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I've, I've been seen a room similar to this one. I think there's a bit of... A bit of uh, repetition in the uh, way it generates rooms. Possibly by design, so that it's kind of predictable, but I'm not really sure. Oh my goodness. Give me that darkness. <laughs> uh, next we get an upgrade upgrade. Kinda, like the pomegranate it upgrades a boon you already have, so it's an upgrade upgrade. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Survive for 45 seconds. Also, it's like I'm stuck in this room for that amount of time rather than beating all the enemies. More hangover, more dash. Hmm. Let's boost the hangover up a little bit. This is a shop, right? Oh, yes. I wouldn't give us a healing flask of some sort. Uh, no, I don't want any of those. I want to keep my attack boost from having money. Better stock up. Oh, it's a shop. Uh, hmm. Hey, good to see you out here, mate. It looks as though you've got some fine wares for sale, don't you? I could buy the power up and the food, but then my attack will be much weaker. I think I'll just go on with what I've got and see how I go. Fingers crossed. Must be the fountain chamber I commissioned back at home. Oh, it's the fountain chamber. Oh, that went out. That went really well. So I can just go to the right spot here and just heal, right? Yeah. Thank you, Fountain. That worked out super well. All right. Uh, hang on. Minus. I have one key. Uh, I could use some more keys. So I guess I'll go the keys direction. A place of calm and respite, whilst perhaps unimaginable in the underworld, occasionally is to be found. In fact. And not a moment too soon. Yeah, that is super helpful. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go this way. Give me that key. 
Uh, what's next? I can get more hearts, or I can get more money. Let's go for hearts, I reckon. Oh. Feeling tough. This room is completely safe. Alright. Okay, but now it's the boss battle. <sighs> Fingers crossed, y'all. I may be strong enough against Megara this time. You can't get rid of me, Meg. Ever stubborn, are you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Let's see how we go against Megara. Me Megara? Persuasive in the past. Huh. <laughs> persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. Oh god. Oh god, she's so powerful. been cool if I'd beaten her on the second try, but I didn't. <laughs> well, I'm at an hour now, so I'm gonna call that the video. Uh, that's Hades. Uh, I've seen a little bit of it, and it looks super fun, but also really hard, which is a lot like Dead Cells, which is kind of what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, yeah, and I think I'd recommend it based on what I've seen here. Uh, I do think it's disappointing that there's no... Uh, I believe in Pyre you get to pick your character's, like, pronouns. There's, like, an actual pronoun selector for he, he, him, she, 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 her, and they, them. This game doesn't have that. I know you're playing as, like, Zagreus, who is a defined character in Greek myth. And, you know, Zagreus is, is the prince of Hades and he's a dude and all that, but knowing Greek myth, I think it would have made a lot of sense to just have a pronoun selector with no explanation and you just get to decide, like, who this character is yourself because, I mean, Greek myth, characters, like, change gender all the time. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, I guess, like, there's a lot of, like, recorded dialogue and stuff and changing that to have different pronouns might have been a bit of a hassle. That could be the reason they didn't do it. Um, that aside, though, this is really cool and fun. Um, I liked Zagreus's like, general sort of snark and sarcastic attitude toward everything, especially the narrator. Uh, I think that's pretty funny. Um, I like... It controls really well. Like, um... It, it feels like you have control over your character at all times, which is, you know, important, obviously. It reminds me a lot of Dead Cells and how it controls, even though it's isometric. Uh, you got similar sorts of things going on with the different attack buttons and the effects they have. Um, and this dash move, like, it's kind of like the roll in Dead Cells. It lets you, like, get a little bit of vulnerability to dodge out, out of the way of attacks, that kind of thing. Uh, which is good. Uh... I like that there's a lot of permanent currencies, which isn't really something you have in Dead Cells. Um, like, you've got Darkness, which does which upgrades your basic abilities here, for example. But you've also got Gemstones that do uh, whatever it is Gemstones do. I do know this. Oh yeah, um, Renovations. I think you can do other stuff with them too, but the main thing is you use them for Renovations here. Maybe you'll have something more Can't afford any yet. Yep. And, um, keys as well to unlock different weapons and unlock more upgrades and stuff. I think it's good to have, you know, a variety of different currencies that way. So you can progress in different directions depending on what you're trying to do with your character and what you're trying to upgrade. Um, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I can actually afford to get that weapon. I might just grab the shield and have a quick look at what it does. Aegis, shield of chaos. Aegis, shield of chaos, nice. 
Press Y to bash. Okay, so you have a shield bash. You can hold down the button to defend and then... Pew! Oh, that's cool. You can also throw it. Oh, nice. Um, let's go dash strike. Okay, yeah, cool. So it, it defends like normal, but then you can pew, do that. That is fun. I like it. And it wants, yeah, once we use the spear, I'm guessing it picks a random weapon each time you go for a run and gives that one a boost to darkness to encourage you to play with all the different weapons. Because, yeah, they do play quite differently. Uh, what's this? Cool. It's not that orderly, really. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, um, that's this game, uh, Hades by Supergiant Games. It's. Oh, I see. So when I'm looking here, I'm seeing like the end of. Tartarus, that's where I'm going to next, across across the... Oh, hang on. It keeps moving? Father's Chamber reached 15. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like showing the different routes I've taken, I think, with the sparkles? Interesting. Okay, um... Give it back, Jack. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This game looks really good. Um, I still think it would have made sense if you could just choose Zagreus' pronouns just at random times. Um, if, you've, if you're familiar with Dead Souls, you may know you can go into the menu and change diet at any time, and it changes all the food items to be a different set of food items. So you can have like vegetarian, or you can have Castlevania style items, or you can have fruits. And I think it would make sense for pronouns to work like that. In pretty much all of these sorts of games, uh, in Dead Souls you should be able to do that, in this game you should be able to do that. I know it's a bit harder in this one because, um, everything is fully voiced, so you'd have to record certain lines more than once, or you'd have to, you know, carefully avoid using pronouns in lines to make it a bit easier. Um, but Dead Cells isn't voiced, so that game really ought to just have that option. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's Hades, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it, because it's super fun, and I'm gonna grab the spear, because it's got the bonus for some reason. Oh, it charges up more if you hold it down longer. Okay. Yeah, that's 30, but if I hold it down to max, 100, okay. And yeah, you can throw it at stuff and pull it back by pressing X again. Or Y for that matter, looks like they do the same thing. Well, that's about it for this video. <laughs> I've said that a couple times now. I still don't know how I get these. I think I need to do something to... It says give someone a, an orange thing to earn this keepsake on all of them. So I must need to get some orange things and then give them to people. I don't know where to get the orange things yet. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of attack now because I'm in the house. All right. The fates have spoken. Do, 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 distant relatives. There's still one left in that section. Uh, there's a bunch left in that section. Oh yeah, I got a couple of things. Oh right, because I have the shield and the spear now. So it's showing me their options. And I got Hoarding Slash, I see. So that's gonna take a while because you only get like one of these in each run. Um, and there's two more weapons apparently, but I can't see them yet. So I assume they'll show up as I progress. Anyway, uh, bye! I hope you enjoyed seeing what this game's about, um, or at least what, you know, the first hour or so of this game is about, because it's hard. Oh yeah, there's two gaps here, so two weapons will show up here later. I don't know when, but yeah, they'll fill in those little gaps. Okay. Uh, but for now, that's all I've got to say, really. Uh, so, 
Bye. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>